welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lucy and today guys We're gonna be talking about something kind of sad. So as you guys know on this channel I have covered Chuck E. Cheese content for quite a while. Basically, Chuck E. Cheese is the reason I feel like a lot of my subscribers and a lot of my fans and a lot of my fandom have come to my channel. I have to give a lot of credit to Chuck E. Cheese for not only just creating a lot of series on my channel over time, but also just some of the funniest skits, videos, 3am videos, and just funnest times I've had on my channel have been out of Chuck E. Cheese. And not only that, but when I was little, I also loved Chuck E. Cheese, if you guys did not know. I'm sure I've told you guys a hundred times. I had birthdays there when I was a kid. I was was invited to birthdays there as a kid. I used to go there just to play arcade games. It was such a nostalgic memory just walking up to the stage and looking at the Chuck E. Cheese animatronic. But sadly, as you guys know, there has been a remodel going on with Chuck E. Cheese and it's currently going on right now. And they are taking the animatronics out. They're ripping them off their stage. They're destroying them. And pretty soon, almost every single Chuck E. Cheese is going to take their animatronics out and replace it with a dance floor. Now this has been been a change that has been in the talks for a very long time and it's so so sad to me that it's finally taking place it actually just happened at a garden grove location this is a video from michael armenta go check him out and subscribe i'll have this video linked down below but this was one of the locations that me and my friends used to film videos at this was one of those ones that we would go and film 3am videos at or just talk about the animatronics at i filmed a few videos here alone before talking about the animatronics and they were so freaking cool at this location they used to have the cool look to them they were very old and nostalgic to see them just ripped up like this and the walls just be painted a plain white color kind of makes me so so sad and today we're just gonna be talking about a lot of Chuck E. Cheese stuff we're gonna be talking about the disturbing lore of Chuck E. Cheese and I'm sure you are a Chuck E. Cheese enjoyer if you are smash a like into this video and comment down below what do you guys think about them removing the animatronic uh, we're gonna be watching a video today called the disturbing lore of Chuck E. Cheese this one is by the food theorists I'm gonna have this link down below go check it out and subscribe to the original but we're gonna check it out because I I want to hear more about the lore of Chuck E. Cheese. For years, we've been terrified of animatronics. This is why they're ripping but them out. have you ever once considered that maybe, just maybe, the animatronics are the ones who should be afraid of us? Maybe they're right. Food Theory, the show that knows that you can't spell animatronic without P-I-Z-Z-A. Pizza! In case you're pizza new here, pie. let me catch you up. I like pizza. I like animatronics. That's literally me. That should be like my opening bio. I like pizza. I like animatronics. <laughs> Same. Let's be friends. And I like murder. Uh, all right, Wait, what? Should have phrased that last one better, <laughs> but you know what? We're just gonna roll with it. Anyway, there's a natural order to the universe that says whenever robotic animals are inside a dining establishment, horrible tragedy shall follow. Enter. Is this why Chuck E. Cheese is deciding to take away the animatronics? Were they that scary? Obviously, we all know there's a lot of conspiracies for now, you know, correlations to all that stuff, but I think there shouldn't be the reason that they take away these precious gems, okay? Chuck E. Cheese. Since opening back in 1977, Chuck E. Cheese has been the fever dream of kids everywhere. Literally, it has been. six-year-old's equivalent of having a birthday in Vegas. <laughs> round of soda. That literally is so true, though. Like, honestly, I feel for any kids who haven't had a Chuck E. Cheese birthday, that that's something that you need to experience at least once. It's over here because somebody just set a new high score in Whack-A-Frog, and I am rolling <laughs> in those tickets, baby. So Here's relatable. For your trouble, sweetums. Also, while you're at it, hit me up with some of those balls. I got a date with Big Bertha. Big night. Bertha! <laughs> I forgot about that arcade game. Cool woman's Mouth it's so creepy. Point of obesity. Candy, games, pizza. I mean, <laughs> what's not to love? For real, yeah, what is it to them. love? You see, Chuck E. Cheese was the creation of Nolan Bushnell, co-founder of the video game company Atari. The idea was to create a restaurant that doubled as a carnival, a place where families could play together while also experiencing the new Which is the best idea, of, of course. video games for the first time. The reason for it being a pizza place was threefold. Pizza was easy to make and required few ingredients. It took a while to cook, which allowed families to spend time playing games. And three, you can't really screw up pizza. But like, I have not met anybody in my entire life to this day that has not liked pizza. Like, you cannot go wrong with pizza. But yeah, people are always like, Chuck E. Cheese pizza is good. You know what? I actually love Chuck E. Cheese pizza, okay? Genuinely, I stand by that. It is some of the best pizza I've had. And I don't care what nobody says. Chuck E. Cheese sponsor me. Anyways, moving along. 
Well, until of course your restaurant produces some misshapen pies and is suddenly- I don't even care, I'm eating it. Slices <laughs> from other tables. It's not recycled, it's actually episode. so fire. Go, wait, the animatronic performers that became synonymous with Chuck E. Cheese were more of a byproduct of Nolan's fascination with Disney, specifically the Country Bear Jamboree Show. That was the Tiki the Room, though. was working for Walt over at his Disneyland park, so why not bring those same robots to budget well, really families that too. wanted entertainment but couldn't make it all the way out to Southern California? And the rest, as they say, is history. Living on in the collective nightmares of 80s era children and Gen Z indie horror game. Bankrupt in 2020, nearly a billion dollars in debt. That is so I think sad. most of us are aware of at least some part of that story, right? But what I think you may not know is the lore of these characters. I wanna hear the lore. Is lore. I wanna hear you, more about the lore. Dark. For years, we've been talking about how scary Chuck E. Cheese is, but in reality, Chuck E. isn't the one on stage that you should be most afraid of. I am honestly the most afraid of the purple one, Mr. Munch. I don't know what it is about him. He just feels like he would have the most lore about him, okay? I just don't know. Something about him ain't right. Know the real story? It's clear that Chucky is the actual victim here. A literal hostage that's being forced to stand up on stage and perform. And when what? he stops, he dies. So what? grab a napkin and start dabbing up the excess grease off your misshapen pizza as I tell you the tragic tale of Chucky. And the I want to hear this tea. The tea is hot. Stars. Our story begins with a coyote. You see, Nolan Bushnell's family carnival restaurant was a uh, Oh, that's right. They originally wanted to make Chuck E. Cheese a coyote. I remember I've talked about this before. He's meant to have a rodent as their mascot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As the story goes, the main mascot was originally meant to be a coyote. Yep, but when yep. Bushnell learned that the costume that he had bought for his main character <laughs> was so actually scary. that of a rat, well, uh, he had to do some quick thinking. He decided <laughs> to rebrand the entire thing from Coyote Pizza to Rick Rat's Pizza. Rick now, Rat's Pizza. That's going to cause you a couple of problems since, uh, I don't know about you, but most restaurants don't really want to associate with rats. <laughs> <laughs> team suggested doing something that they thought might be a bit more appealing to hungry customers. Chuck E. Cheese. Sure, he's mm -hmm. still a rat, but now at least they're not throwing the fact that he's a disease-ridden rodent in your face. <laughs> Apparently they went with Chuck E. Cheese thought about that. because it forced people to smile when they said it. And let's Chuck be honest, e. forcing a smile Oh my god, it does! Wait, 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 wait. If you say Chuck E. Cheese, okay, say it out loud with me, okay? We can look stupid together. Chuck E. It literally, I am smiling! Chuck E. Cheese. I can't unsee this now. That was clever of them. That's creepy. Find in this place anyway, so good call. It's also worth noting that Chucky didn't start off as the hip skateboarding mouse that he is today. Instead, he was a rat from New Jersey, smoking I a cigar that. and roasting the other members of the <laughs> animatronic cast. He's had an upgrade since feels then. So random, it was like they were playing a drunken game of Mad Libs. Yeah, there was a lot a of chef, them. A dog, a pig. All right, all the that. Pig is so scary. Oh my gosh. The alien, the moon, the a moon, mops, a literal building, a hippo with jiggle fish. Physics and an old man known simply as Mr. I don't remember Cooch. some of these. The reason so many feel out of place here is that they were obtained from a rival animatronic pizza place and then retrofitted into the style of Chuck E. Cheese. That is and let so me tell crazy. You, the videos online of how to restyle these characters is scarier than anything FNAF has produced in the last seven years. Welcome to the Concept Unification installation tape. This tape is meant to supplement the installation manual, not replace it. What? Now, Mitzi, starting with her sweater, wig, dick. Oh! Ears, she's stripping it down. Wow, does she have boobs? Skirt, shoes, and leg fur. Oh so my gosh. The origins of Charles Entertainment Cheese and the mascots. But what Yo. about the actual lore here? I well, want to know the lore. In June of 2017, the news blog Insider reached out to CEC Entertainment, Chuck E. Cheese's parent company, to see if Charles Entertainment Cheese was indeed the character's official name. Christelle DuPont, public relations manager for CEC Entertainment, informed them that since there was never a birth certificate, the company couldn't actually be sure. Which I mean, really? I guess, but also, I don't think that's the way it works here. Show me Ronald McDonald's birth certificate. <laughs> Kid. Is the Burger King truly royalty or is it he is merely an usurper to the throne? Anyway, while she couldn't officially answer the name question, she did point everyone to an online book detailing Chuck E. Cheese's backstory. And this is a treasure trove of information that I remember seeing those. Blow I have your... read some of Chuck E. Cheese's backstory and it's actually pretty deep to be honest. Like it goes pretty in depth. Or mine. As the story goes, Chucky was an orphan yep. mouse at the St. Marinara <laughs> so Orphanage. Sad. She loved to sing happy birthday to all the other orphans. In a cruel twist, because he was an orphan, no one actually knew his birthday, so they that just so gave sad. up. No one even bothered to try and find it or give him an Poor honorary Chucky. birthday or anything. Because that's what Relatable happens though. when you're an orphan. Hard oh. knock life and all that. Oh TLDR, no one ever sang or celebrated for the mouse. Well, Poor this mouse. is going to be my personality for the rest of my life. Outside <laughs> of singing and orphan, Chuck had two other defining 
and character traits. He loved pizza and playing Pong. Thank you, Daddy Pong. Atari. That skill set is totally gonna age well. But of the course, because on this he was video an is just so good. <laughs> walked by the feeling that something in his life was missing, like parents. So one oh, day after same. winning fifty dollars I mean. from a Pong tournament, I kid you, I am not making this stuff up. Chuck bought himself a bus ticket to New York and ran away. He had a ticket in a dream. Stay, he found shelter in above a, dream. a pizza restaurant know. owned by Chef Pasquale. I played. One night when Chucky thought that Pasquale had already left, he went down to explore the restaurant only to be immediately discovered by the chef. Pasquale flies into a rage, chases Chuck around the kitchen, <laughs> then corners him and raises a rolling pin, ready to what? strike down the death blow. Finish him! He's Chucky ready to end fear, the Chucky? Shaking, facing his final seconds of life, does no. the one and only thing that has ever brought him joy over the years. What does he, he do? Sings. Upon hearing that the mouse could sing, Pasquale lowers his oh, rolling pin. Oh, that's how he saved himself? Capitalism and exploit the mouse's talent for his own no, personal No, he did game. not! As the story goes, quote, Pasquale was so shocked he dropped the rolling pin. What? The mouse that can sing. My is this really how the lore goes? I'm gonna make you a star. He no renames way. his restaurant Chuck E. Cheese's, home of the world-famous singing mouse, and literally what? forces Chucky to perform there. The story no freaking way! <laughs> Chucky hasn't stopped singing or smiling since. Well, yeah, That's because his name wild! To smile. We've already covered that. But in all seriousness, the parenthesis around the word smiling here has given me a real serious cry for They help really cry. like to make so people that's the story smile. of Chuck E. Cheese, an orphan rat rebranded into a mouse who's basically being held hostage and forced to sing to- He's being held hostage all this time. Charles Entertainment Jesus has brought us smiles, good pizza, good sticky hands at the prize booth, and he's been held hostage? <laughs> By Pasquale because he's a singing magical mouse rat. I, I I'm just mind blown right now. This is just this is a lot to take in. Stay alive. Notice that Pasquale specifically calls out that his restaurant is saved after hearing Chuck E. Cheese sing. Meaning that <laughs> it was already on its way out. Why have I Chuck never e. realized this? Meal ticket. After all, notice how he didn't take any appropriate measures when he found Chucky was a runaway orphan. He didn't do anything <laughs> like you know alert officials that he'd found oh a runaway kid or make any attempt at contacting the original orphanage. <laughs> Pasquale. His eyes, Chuck it was just like, was a means to money, a Mr. Krabs moment. He's never stops attracting customers. Would it really be that hard to believe that Pasquale might just decide to quit? Finish oh. the job. It's also made clear that Pasquale isn't paying the members of his band anything beyond Wait, what? keeping your own life. In the direct no. video movie Chuck E. Cheese in the Galaxy 5000, we see a kid who needs some serious cash for his family's tractor. What's the problem? He needed some dough. He needed cash. Charlie, he needed $50,000. Notice how little the performers are able to cough up to help him. Come on, gang, cough it up. No holding back. I've got two dollars. I've got a What? Price. Also notice who doesn't lay any money on the table. Pasquale. Why, Why is he not helping them? them? Got more dough than anyone in town. They even make mention that the performers yeah, they could literally get mentioned. jobs to help them earn money, meaning that standing up on stage performing what under Pasquale's rule doesn't pay. This is going deep. Get that kind of money. We could all get jobs. I saw a help wanted sign down at the Chicken Palace. It's here that we get this gem of information. No way. Squally, do you have any ideas on how we can come up with fifty thousand for Charlie's aunt and uncle? You could pay him a fair wage. That's an idea. <laughs> Why do you ask that question, Chucky? In a few days, a big race is going to take a place. It's going is an interplanetary race on the planet Orion. They can participate in a dangerous intergalactic space race. Didn't see that one coming, did you? And despite heck? it being dangerous, Pasquale is more than eager to sign him up for it. Now, no talking way. about just this movie alone would merit its own video. Let's just say that everyone is very excited to be hanging out with each other. Chickens oh. with mice, mice with humans, what? humans with multiple humans, chickens with multiple this humans. This is such the a strange video. Oh my gosh. is a bigger plot point than you'd what expect the? for a badly CGI film extension to a children's restaurant. No, mascot. they did not. Oh, Jackie. Race car drivers are so cool. What is this? <laughs> no. Ooh, I Chucky. I appreciate it if you kept this to yourself. I didn't know that you were taken. What? Oh, the guys. Right, Helen? Oh, did she really just oh, say that? I did say that today's race separated the mice from the men. Sorry about your little mousy friend. We like stealing his girlfriends and beating him in the races. Side what note, is happening? I just wanted to take a minute to point out 
point out that Jasper, the dog here, is reading Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men. <laughs> what even is this movie? Anyway, back to the point. I'm Pasquale dead. is holding these innocent animals hostage and is more than willing to sacrifice their safety if it means money for him. And that's, that's not all. That's crazy. He's taking away any evidence of his misdeeds. Remember, he's, he's crazy. In the company. This is his restaurant and his business. <laughs> so is it weird that two months after Chuck E. Cheese's orphan story came out, one that was written by Chucky himself, himself? the restaurant's official YouTube channel releases a video showcasing the exact same story. What? No, they did not. Difference. This one paints Pasquale in a positive light. Wait, really? A place that served great pizza made by a funny chef with a mustache. His name was Pasquale. My restaurant was a losing money. Come on. Close my doors. Are they really trying to, to help me What? Out? Oh, yeah, okay, the they're switching the story now. Is that before or after you threatened to bludgeon it with <laughs> a rolling pin? And don't you for a minute think that this is some sort of corporate rebrand or I anything? Can't. This is Pasquale actively gaslighting us and this Chucky. This is so and funny. I never channel, thought about this. Looking at a photo album of past memories. In it, we get this. Remember that time we went to the, the moon. moon, moon what is this? That was a really good time. These songs. Wait, we never... There we are, helping a Benjamin Franklin discover electricity. We never... It's all lies. The photo album is filled with lies. Pasquale Why? is feeding them false memories. For Why now, is he at least. tricking see, I them? I think Chucky's days are numbered. Pasquale now knows that his star mouse has become a liability. Not no only way. telling the dirty secrets of his backstory, but Pasquale also is up to a secret. by the year with his singing. That's I'm on to him. That's why in 2020, Pasquale decided to relaunch his own self-named brand, Pasquale's Pizza <gasps> and Wings. I made a video about that! Literally, there is his own brand, Pasquale's Pizza and Wings, and it's actually real! And they tried to do that because people were scared to buy Chuck E. Cheese food, but it's literally the same thing. Like, what? Okay, moving along. Same food as Chuck E. Cheese, but delivered. A ghost kitchen that is owned and operated and starring it's him. So Pasquale crazy. saw that Chuck E's side of the story had the potential to This is getting so deep. Quests. He knew that having his name linked to the attempted murder of everyone's favorite house wouldn't be so good. So no, I guess that's why he opened his own pizza, pizza brand. I never thought, thought about that. Forms to release a version of the story oh which painted him in better light, all while building his own personal brand This is so crazy. Side. I'm mind blown. for all of it? Well, as we see on the website for Chuck E. Cheese in Jordan, the, the country of Jordan. Pasquale's a man who dreams of being the best pizza maker and entertainer, entertainer in the world that ever, ever seen. seen. But for years, he's played second fiddle to the rats. That's no crazy. More. He's probably jealous. The beginning. He was he's away from Pasquale Chucky. to get famous. But now that Chuck E. Cheese's brand is known the world over, it's time for Pasquale to make his move. He's he never going to make his move. I mean, look at him. He's a Pasquale. But nobody can beat Chuck E. Cheese himself, okay? Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did smash the like and subscribe to join the family and i'll see all of you lovely people in the next video bye guys Thank you.